Professor Rauch, you just gave a lecture here at the E4 Institute on um, breaking the doom loop uh, uh, in the Eurozone. What is that exactly, the doom loop? That sounds so terrible. Um, the doom loop is referred to as uh, the nexus between states and banks. Uh, so in the sense that when states get into trouble, also the banks uh, in that state get into trouble just because they invest in government debt issued by those states. And on the other hand, if banks get into trouble, often also the states uh, get into trouble if they have to support the bailout for those banks. And this is the uh, critical component to now solve. But why is that problematic? Because um, if not banks buy those government debt, uh, then other European institutions or governments or central banks would do that. So um, at this point of time, there are strong incentives for banks to invest in government debt, uh, rather investing in, in other assets. And this has to do with the um, numerous privileges that government debt enjoys for uh, banks and also for insurance companies. So therefore, these privileges have to be watched very carefully, in my view, also have to be re-regulated. Now, how do you want to break the vicious cycle that exists, as you say, between banks and governments? So what is very important is that uh, banks need to diversify their portfolios more. It's not uh, advisable that they keep all their eggs into one basket. And this means uh, they should not keep only uh, the debt of their home country in their balance sheets. So therefore, any incentive or maybe even any hard constraint uh, to curb those investments is very important. In my own suggestion, um, it is that banks should diversify their portfolio across Europe and they should be induced by not um, being required to hold capital charges as long as they uh, keep the capital key of the ECB also in their investment decisions in uh, various European countries. Now, why uh, should, for example, uh, financial ministers uh, accept these new rules? Because it, it'll make very hard for them uh, to buy uh, or to sell, actually, to sell their own debt. One of the really key um, challenges at this point of time is that the regulation, uh, the new regulation that is needed, would come only from those who benefit from the lack of the new regulation. So therefore, I view it as very important for academics and also in this conference uh, to discuss and to point uh, to these challenges so that the real public debate can start, which otherwise might be blocked by those who are interested in keeping the old regulation intact. Where are we now in, on the political level? Is there anything of that kind uh, being discussed? Is it going to be uh, done in Europe? The promise and the hope of the banking union deliberations and considerations in 2012 were in fact that we would get come to a solution rather soon. Now it's five and a half years later and we have not actually come to a solution. So therefore we need to keep the pressure up to really uh, think even more um, strategically about this, given that the problem in my view has even become worse than better over those five years. Thank you very much. Thank you.